Season 3 has finally arrived and with solo play of the Carnival World Championships, you'll be playing must win games. Today we have the best guns you should use for your loadouts. Coming in hot, we have the ICR-1 at number 10. Here's the loadout I use. I use it whenever I want to sit at the back of the map as it has a slower fire rate than the guns higher up in this list. The range buff has been a welcome one, making it a viable option for players like me who enjoy playing passive. This build features mobility attachments, allowing you to move and strafe better, sacrificing bullet spread accuracy. I personally use this second build, having this able in there and prioritizing BSA to take advantage of the somehow infinite 4th tap range. It may have been nerfed, but Type 25 still performs well at the 9th spot of this list. This loadout is for an all-around type of playstyle, playing to whatever the team needs me to be at any given time. If you know how to use the Type 25, it still is a fun gun to use without being overpowered like before. I really like this build because of the range boost, relatively fast reload, good flinch control, and bullet spread accuracy, and to top it off, good visibility with the red dot sights. Holger holds its spot firmly now at number 8 on today's list. I use this loadout for playing like a sentry gun, taking power positions and engaging gunfights from medium to long range. This classic build is still very viable in the current season and you can use FMJ instead of disable if you like shooting through walls. At number 7, we have the PPSH, being one of the better aggressive guns in the game right now. I use this loadout if I want to play fast and take out enemies close range. Just running around the map, playing for kills. This is a CQC focused build and you're gonna get one of the fastest ADS times as well as movement speeds making it a very fun gun for Russian. However, if you want to play it a bit more versatile, you can use this build. This gives you a larger mag and a little bit more bullet spread accuracy while still being CQC focused. Up next, M13 takes the number 6 spot. This is a loadout I use for playing support, and with M13 being somehow versatile with its good damage and fast fire rate, you can never really go wrong with it. If you want to play versatile, you can use this build with the double stack 40 round mag. But personally, I prefer spamming this weapon, and if you want to do crazy wow. flicks like Hope, use this build with the 60 round mag instead. At number 5, we have SKS. Whenever I want to sit back and relax while having to tap at the fire button endlessly, I use this loadout. SKS is still useful with its very effective 2 tap capability and its infinite headshot range. I still use this build I stole from space, but you have to run toughness with it. So, for most players, you can use this recommended build and have fun 2 tapping enemies. For aggressive sniping, you can use the SVD at number 4. This is the loadout I use, nothing special, just your average sniper setup. You can use quick fix instead of toughness if you'll be quick scoping most of the time. This still is the best build for the the SVD, feel free to use any scope you want, but generally you'd want the one that makes you see enemies the best. At the top 3 spot, we have Colmobile's newest SMG, MAC-10. I personally haven't had the time to try out the MAC-10, but here's Dre's loadout. He's been the editor for the channel for about 4 months now. Clearly, this SMG is for playing aggressive, so you'd want to take advantage of its ADS movement speed. Here's a build for the fastest strafe possible with the MAC-10, but you'll be stuck with 43 bullets. However, if you want more bullets, better ADS speed but slower strafe, you can use this build along with the Skulker perk to get a relative relatively similar strafe speed to the previous build. CBR4 takes the number 2 spot yet again for this season. This is the general loadout everyone uses, and by everyone, I mean everyone from Bruh. beginners to pros. CBR4 is still too powerful to be dethroned by the MAC-10, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. You can use this classic CBR4 build that I'm pretty sure everyone has, but I personally use this build for a bit better recoil with the Marksman Barrel and Stipple Grip Tape. At number 1, we got Kilo 141. Here's my loadout, feel free to copy it, but you can mix and match based on your preferences. Kilo is still the top weapon in Call Mobile in Season 3, and you can use it to play whichever playstyle you prefer. Here's an aggressive build you can use for close to medium range, and here's a build with better range, but will be a bit slower. Pick the right build depending on the map or on your playstyle. I want to give a huge shout out and a special thanks to Z for helping me with this list as well as giving us the recommended builds for the guns mentioned today. Is there a gun in mind that you think is deserving of the top 10? We thought of some honorable mentions. The first one's the KRM, an unbeatable shotgun to the point that Garena still uses it on the daily. Here's a good loadout you can use even with the speed of kill nerf. 
Of course, we can't forget about the best sniper in the game for search and destroy matches, the DLQ. Here's a loadout I use for respawns. Yes, respawns. This one's inspired by 3MR, so I'm using his signature Deep Shark skin that you'll see on all of his videos, along with this build right here. However, using 3MR's build doesn't mean you get 3MR's skills, but you can click on the thumbnail on the left to learn how 3MR snipes. Or if you want to improve your KD immediately, click the thumbnail on the right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.